In this lesson, we're going to discuss the perfectly competitive labor market, and we have two side-by-side -side graphs. The one to the far left represents the industry, and the one to the far right represents the firm. The industry represents thousands of workers, and the firm represents just the individual number of workers. The industry is going to set the wage, which is $6.00 and the quantity of labor, which is a total of 4,000 workers. So the industry is going to relay this message to the firm, meaning the firm is going to pay their workers $6, let's say, per hour, and our supply curve for the firm is going to equal the marginal resource cost. Now the firm's demand curve is going to be downward sloping because of the law of diminishing marginal returns. Each worker contributes less and less for this particular industry and it's going to equal marginal revenue product. This intersection where supply equals marginal cost and where demand equals marginal revenue product is the quantity that the firm is going to hire for their inputs, for their labor. So we have a total of four workers, number of workers. We have $6 for the wage. And this is a perfectly competitive labor market. Let's say that the demand for labor in this industry increases. So we're showing a rightward shift in the demand curve. Wages and quantity supplied of labor will increase. And let's say wages go up to eight dollars and Quantity supplied increases to 6,000 workers. Well, the industry is once again going to relay this message to the firm to uh, hire more workers. We're going to have a new supply curve of labor, which is going to equal our marginal resource cost. We make this a one showing a change and since our demand curve shifts to the right the firm's marginal revenue product and demand curve is also going to shift to the right and we make this uh, marginal revenue product one we find our new intersection where marginal resource cost equals marginal revenue product and the firm is going to hire labor at this intersection and the number of workers increases from four to six because the wage increase from six to eight and the number of workers increase from four to six thousand so an increase in demand will increase both wages and the quantity supplied of labor. Let's say that the industry decreases their demand for labor. The demand curve will shift to the left, go from D to D1, both wages 
and the quantity supplied of labor will go down. And let's say it goes down from six to four for wage and the thousands of workers goes down from 4,000 to 2,000. Well, the industry is going to relay this message to the individual firms. So our supply of labor will have a new line of equal marginal resource cost one. And since the demand of labor is going down for the industry, it will also decrease for the firm. And demand equals marginal revenue product one. So we find where marginal resource cost equals marginal revenue product. This is our new intersection. The firm will decrease the number of laborers from four to two because the industry's demand curve shifted to the left. Wages went down from six to four dollars per hour and the number of workers decreased from four to two thousand. So when we have a decrease in demand for perfectly competitive labor markets, wages will go down and so will the quantity supplied of labor.